and B say you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Hashtag the process. Oh, that's tough. That's a tough line right there. And he's basically referring to the fact that the 76ers, you know, they weren't showing love because, you know, they've been getting mad that they've been losing. They've been underachieving. They've been trying to trust the process. And basically, they've come to this point where they're still underachieving with all this talent. And they're trying to figure out what's going on. So they're blaming everybody. But Joel Embiid, obviously, you know, he had his comments about it on social media, which is weird. But regardless, he did what he did. And Jimmy Butler commented, I know a place where villains are welcome. And this is kind of a lit situation because, of course, it makes you kind of think, hey, damn, Miami, a destination? But nah, Joel Embiid is signed to a contract, if you guys don't know. And that contract makes it where he has to be traded. And if the 76ers don't want to do that, that they don't have to. Now, there's rumors going on that the 76ers are going to start exploring options for Joel Embiid, and that's kind of lit. I wonder what they can get back for him. I think he's a highly skilled player, and I think over there having him on the 76ers with Jimmy – Obviously, it didn't really work that last time, but this could be different. This could be a lot different. And Joel Embiid's a special talent, man. Is it the right move? I don't know. Is it going to happen? I don't know. If it is, if it is going to happen, it'll happen in the summertime. But ah, this, this is crazy and very interesting for me to think about. So I don't know what I would do personally, but... You know what? I do know what I would do. Personally, me, I would try to run the team at what it is. I would keep the team at what it is, see what we're doing, rock with that, see if we can get some chemistry together maybe if that's the problem, see what we got to do. We've Coach change. I don't know, man, but these are players that a lot of teams wish they had. And if you go ahead and just trade them away for players that are not as good and it doesn't really help your team except get some draft picks, and those draft picks are not even going to be guaranteed to be these type of talent of players, then it's not worth it. I mean, it's going to be worth it maybe if you can find a guy that you get a star player kind of in the same type of area or an up-and-coming guy, but Joel Embiid can put up numbers. And I think trading somebody like that away is always going to be tough. So I don't know. I don't know what to say, but that's what I would do personally. Joel Embiid this season hasn't been fully what we thought he was, but I don't know. I just, it's tough to say. So tell me what you guys think down below in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more. I'm out.